Hey folks, Simon Gold here. Ever had a crab dish that not only knocked the socks off your guests, but flung them clear across the room? Once this dish was all about Waikanae crab until seemingly they packed their bags and disappeared into the night and never returned. I then turned to the heart-thumping thrill of the Alaskan King Crab straight out of the world's deadliest catch tails. But then a revelation. The Fraser Isle Spanner crab meat entered the scene. And trust me, it's a game changer. A dish that, believe me, has been a chart buster on my menu. And oh, it's TV debut. Let's just say it was an epicenter of a culinary earthquake. Edge of your seat stuff, but hang tight, every juicy detail is coming up for this fancy pants crab dish today. What you're going to need is Fraser Isle Spanner crab meat. Well, go hunting for your own. You take your pick. Creme fraiche, jalapeno Tabasco, or your favourite. Mine is Gringus Green K-Pow Hot Sauce. Wasabi Tobiko Caviar, some salt for seasoning, dried bonito flakes. And don't worry, I'm going to explain what the bonito flakes and the wasabi tobiko caviar is later on. First up, what you need to do is start by warming your oven up to 180 degrees C or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. For those of you fortunate enough to own a Dietrich oven, simply switch to expert mode, select variable grill, and hit play. Then inspect your crab meat for any sneaky shells or cartilage in there. Next, blend the creamy creme fraiche with our spicy green sauce. Toss in half of our wasabi tobiko caviar. Then we're going to hit it with some salt. Now let's split the crab between your oven proof dishes. Layer it with our spicy creamy mixture and let it do its magic in the oven for about eight to nine minutes. When it's bubbling with anticipation, whip it out and garnish with the remaining caviar and sprinkle the bonito flakes over the top. There you have it. A master stroke of simplicity meeting luxury primed to leave your guests utterly dazzled. All right, take a deep breath for this TV tidbit I sneakily hinted at. The SPCA rang and by the sound of it, they'd been bombarded with calls from eager-eyed viewers convinced my dish was a tad too alive for comfort. Perhaps they were too engrossed in their chips and missed the opening scene, maybe. Look at this masterpiece. With those bonito flakes shimmering like they're at a Friday night disco, one might get the wrong idea. But trust me, it's just the delicate Benito showing off its moves when it feels the heat. No live crabs harmed here, just a few enthusiastic channel hoppers with an overactive imagination. If you enjoyed this dish as much as a crab loves the seashore, then give that like button a click. And if you want to join our culinary journey, don't be selfish, subscribe and drop a comment below. Let's cook up a storm together. For those of you raising an eyebrow at Benito Flakes, let me break it down. Imagine the skipjack tuna took a vacation to Japan, got smoked, dried and then made its grand return as these swanky shavings known as katsubushi. Drop them onto a hot dish and they start wiggling and dancing around like they're on the dance floor of Dancing with the Stars. And that wasabi tobiko. Picture a flying fish, leap of faith into a pool of wasabi, 
bringing a burst of colour and a dash of daredevil flavour to your plate. Trust me, it's the kind of zing you want at your dinner party. See you next time. Don't forget to smash that like button.